Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yoni J. Today I am creating a protective hairstyle that I like um, with some bantu knots. This can be for anyone, long, short, but also for your short, natural girls like me, where you know maybe you don't feel like you have too much thickness or whatever the case may be. You can add some um, braiding hair. That's what I did, and I basically used the colors two and purple. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm starting with some fresh hair and I'm gonna apply some water to it just to make sure my hair is moisturized, which it already was, but you can never, you know, it's been like a week since I had this in. That's why you may see a little fuzzies in the back, but I just wanted to come on here and show you guys how I do it. So I'm just gonna brush that. And then the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and add is, um, I'm gonna put a little bit more water, obviously. Maybe I felt a little dry. Let me brush that and make sure that it gets in there because I have low proximity hair, so I want to make sure everything I put in my hair actually gets in. So I'm going to go ahead and add some cream. I'm going to use the Cantu Leave-In Cream. And I'm just going to really just massage that in, make sure I get those ends, especially those ends, take care of that. And it looks like a lot, but it's really not. I'm going to go ahead and brush that product in. Now I'm, I'm using a dim brush there. And then I'm going to also add in the oil. I use the extra virgin olive oil for my hair just to lock everything in. And I believe I got that from Walmart for maybe like a dollar. It wasn't much. Maybe like a dollar fifty. Who knows? But you can get it from I think Dollar Tree has it as well. So what I'm going to use is like an outless headband, ha um, hair tie, because I don't want to braid the hair for my scalp. And so this can also help for like beginners who, you know, who just learn how to braid or anything like that. But I found this easier for me so I don't feel like there's that much tension on my scalp from when you get like fresh braids. So I'm just going to tie that in. And this also did not cause any breakage. And I'm using that cackalon here I was telling you guys about. I'm just stretching the ends so that way when I wrap the hair around, I won't have to put another outless headband um, hair tie. I can just basically wrap the ends of the braiding hair and it will hold it which it has been all every band tonight you see there is I do not have any additional um, headband head hair ties so I'm just gonna speed the video up so you guys because I believe you guys know how to braid if you don't just let me know I'll definitely do a video for that so now as we do the band tonight you're basically just twisting it around twisting to your liking if you don't you know if you don't like you always can pull it back down and to you find the the height or the thickness that you're looking for but for me, this was fine. I'm just going to be just showing this to you guys for this video, sake of the video. And see how I have the extra little pieces I can just twist around. And that's just basically going to hold that bantu knot in place. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some jewels that I told you guys about. And just to jazz it up, give it like a nice little African look. I thought it was really cute. I'm going to add those in anywhere. You can place them anywhere. I just decided to put two on each. And there you have it. Super cute. Um, I hope you and I'm also gonna lay those edges girls don't forget to lay those edges it usually takes me longer than this but it was just for the sake of the video I just did it really quick so yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video I appreciate it this is how I keep my ends tucked away I love you guys so much and appreciate you guys for watching and until next time peace and love see you guys later